Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a crazy one because I'm going to be showing you all how I made over $29,107,600 in GTA 5 Online, which is by far the most money I've made in one day on this game. And yes, you heard that correctly. I made over $29 million under one day. And to get this huge amount of money is definitely possible if you put in the hours of grinding, but also keep in mind, you don't have to get it all the way to $29 million like I did. That's pretty insane, but I'm only doing it because of this video and it's making it crazy. Easier. But yeah, you guys can easily put less time and still make millions of dollars. You don't have to make 29 million. You can make easily one, two, three, even four million dollars and put way less time into grinding. Anyway, before getting into the video, if you do go on to enjoy, I only ask two favors from you, and that is to drop a like and also hit that subscribe button. And if you guys did those two things, I appreciate you guys so so much. But now let's get into the video. If you guys own a special cargo warehouse, you're definitely gonna want to be taking advantage of it this week, since it's paying 1.5 times more money this week, and it's also for the high demand bonus instead of being 1.5% bonus per player while selling it's now going to be 3.75% and that's basically the special cargo warehouse if sold in a public session double money and double rp this week so in other words the special cargo warehouse is super overpowered this week and i'm gonna give you guys all my secret tips and tricks to the special cargo warehouse this week that way you can make some millions and millions of dollars in gta 5 online like i did anyway first thing you need to do is go inside your co office sit down here at your desk and log in once you log in now click right here where it says special cargo and right here at the bottom is where you're going to see all of your special cargo warehouses that you own so now just take a look at all of your warehouses and whichever one is the most empty go ahead and select that one and now select the bottom option right here where it says three crates for eighteen thousand dollars trust me you don't want to select the two crates or the one crate option the best crates to select is going to be the three crates for eighteen thousand dollars it's just going to save you guys more money in the long run and it's also going to save you guys more time anyway once you do start up the resupply mission first thing you want to do before you even get into it though is open up your interaction menu once you open up your interaction menu go over here to spawn location and make sure it's set to your ceo office as you can see i have mine set to my ceo office once your spawn location is set to your ceo office you're ready you'll see later on in a second why i said do that anyway next thing you need to do is now do the resupply mission to get these supplies and deliver them over to your special cargo warehouse usually it's pretty simple and they're pretty straightforward to do you basically just go over to a location take out some people and then pick up the crates now here's the thing though if you're doing this solo sometimes when you're doing these missions it's going to be three individual crates and that's kind of annoying because as you know three individual crates you can't pick up all at once you have to pick up one by one and deliver it each one by one over to your special cargo warehouse but that is just sadly something that you have to deal with if you're doing these completely by yourself the only way to prevent that is by having two other people inside the session with you that are helping you source these crates that way they can pick up the other two crates and you can all deliver them to your special cargo warehouse all in one trip and that could save you guys a few minutes definitely but i also wouldn't really stress about getting two other friends because for the most part when you're sourcing three crates as you can see i'm doing another mission right here this is a another mission where I'm sourcing three crates by the way but for the most part when you're sourcing three crates it's mostly going to be one crate that counts for three what I mean by that is something like this for example you can see the crate that I had to get was this police fan and this police fan counts for three crates because I did click the three crate option so once I get this police fan it counts for three crates and all I have to do is deliver over to my special cargo warehouse and of course like this I'm delivering all three of them over to my warehouse completely by myself and me just being 100% honest with you guys it's literally a 50 50 chance which you're gonna get it can either be a supply mission where it's gonna be three individual crates or it can be a supply mission where it's gonna be one crate that counts for three that you have to deliver to your warehouse that's gonna be most likely in some type of vehicle like a police van like this one that i was in right now or some type of other vehicle okay now back to why i said you should set your spawn location to your ceo office now every time you do a special cargo mission you're gonna be at your warehouse and instead of going all the way back to your ceo office to start up the next one what you can actually do is open Open up your pause menu go over here to online go over here to find new session and then go ahead and find a new invite only session and this should take a few seconds if you're on next gen to load into a new session but once you are in you are literally now just going to be spawned inside of your co office of course because you set your spawn location set to your co office now all you have to do is sit back down go at your desk and source another crate 
So yeah, just make sure when you're sourcing your special cargo crates, you're doing it exactly as I just showed you. Every time you source a crate, as soon as you get to your warehouse, you find a new session and you load back into your CEO office and source another crate just like that right away. Doing it like that's going to save you guys lots of time, trust me. But if you are watching the video and you need friends to do these special cargo crate missions with, what I want you to do is go down below at the top of the description of this video and join my Discord server. My Discord server is very active and I promise you guys will find people to do these special cargo missions with if you do need help so yeah the discord link is going to be at the top of the description make sure you guys join it anyway now let's get into how you can actually get crates by paying for them and not doing any work whatsoever now i myself own five large warehouses and if you yourself own lots of different warehouses like i do myself this tip is definitely going to be for you now what you want to do is actually go to any one of your warehouses and simply enter inside of it once you enter inside your warehouse you should see like a person icon just go up to that person click right d-pad and pay them seven thousand thousand five hundred dollars what this is going to do is it's going to pay them to go source you crates yeah after you pay them the seven thousand five hundred dollars you basically just wait 45 minutes in real life and they'll come back to you with a certain amount of crates now that amount of crates can be anywhere from one to three crates it's completely random and it's also completely random for every single different warehouse that you bought the crates for so yeah this is definitely another option that you guys can do when it comes to sourcing and getting crates Okay, so when you are ready to sell, this is completely optional, but if you want to make the most money, what you need to do is put yourself in a public session with at least over 20 people in it. This is if you want to make the amount of money that I'm making in the video. If you want to be completely safe, just sell in an invite only session. Anyway, as you can see, I have all five of my large warehouses completely full, so this should be pretty fun to sell, especially with the bonuses that we have, and I'm going to be selling all these in a public session with over 20 people in it, so I'm going to be getting the complete full bonus. So let's go ahead and start selling them. So let's go over here to my first warehouse. As you can see, this large warehouse is completely full and it's going to sell for $3.3 million. But I'm going to be getting way more money than that because it's 3.75% per player in this session for the high demand bonus. So I guess we'll see in a second once I sell it how much more money that's going to be. Now, as you all know, selling in a public session is super risky. But some things that definitely helped me out at least when selling in a public session is having a couple friends near me and helping protect me while I was actually delivering. That definitely help me out anyway once i sold my first large warehouse with that high demand bonus on top of the 3.3 million dollars take a look at how much money i got i got 5.8 million dollars but we still have four more of those same exact large warehouses to sell so let's go ahead and sell those right now don't worry i'm gonna go ahead and skip past this really really fast forward because i already showed you guys that i have five large warehouses completely full all i have to do basically now is just go ahead and sell it all now i did that first sell mission which is pretty simple i had to just deliver it to 10 different locations in the plane for the second sell mission i had to basically just deliver three different trucks to this location and i once again got 5.8 million dollars once again guys it's going to be the same amount of money every single time it's basically 5.8 million dollars for each sell and i have to say i got pretty lucky when it came to selling all of my product i didn't get blown up or messed with at all when i was actually selling all of my stuff so i got 5.8 million for each sell that i did for all five of my large warehouses as you can see this sell mission that i'm doing right here all i had to do was drive this tugboat here to that location and boom just like like that i sold my product that is now my third large warehouse now we have two more to go and the two more to go are going to be the same mission actually so we're just going to go ahead and play the same one and i won't have to just go over it again because it's literally the same mission for some reason this was selling for 3.2 million dollars i don't know why for some reason it's completely full it, i don't know why it was selling for 3.2 million it's it's okay though it's only ninety thousand dollars less but yeah i just thought i'd mention that Anyway, here is the last sell mission I'm going to be doing, and you'll see how much money I have in my account after selling all five. I actually left it in my player's account. And just like that, we now sold all five of my large warehouses for $5.8 million each. And if you guys do the math, that is right around $29 million, just a little bit over. I have the exact number in the title, of course, and also in the thumbnail if you guys are interested. But yeah, $29 million is absolutely ridiculous. And of course, it's going to take lots of grinding if you guys want to sell that amount of crates. You guys don't have to sell 555 like I did. You can easily get like 100 crates or even a little bit less crates than that. It's still going to pay a lot of money since it is one point five times money this week and also 3.75 percent per player for the high demand bonus this week i just wanted to let you guys know about this special that gta 5 is giving this week for the special cargo warehouse make sure you take advantage of it and if you did go on to enjoy today's video make sure you do me a favor and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on if you don't have them on already and that's it for me i will see you guys in my next video peace